The rapid rise of electric vehicles, EVs, has ushered in a new era of transportation, promising a greener and more sustainable future. Yet, amidst the buzz of excitement, a darker reality lurks beneath the surface. With each passing day, the electrification movement encounters fresh obstacles, threatening to derail its momentum and shatter the dreams of a zero emissions utopia. Forget about mere inconveniences like range anxiety or sparse charging infrastructure. We're diving into a realm where the stakes are life and death. Imagine the terror of sitting behind the wheel of your EV, only to watch helplessly as it erupts into flames. This is the chilling reality facing EV owners worldwide, and the epicenter of this crisis is none other than Hong Kong, where a wave of EV fires has ignited a city-wide alarm. As EVs surge in popularity, so too do reports of them spontaneously combusting, casting a shadow over the industry's brightest prospects. Take, for instance, the recent harrowing ordeal of a 53-year-old woman in Kowloon Bay. She narrowly escaped a catastrophic explosion when her BID EV, a heavyweight contender in the electric vehicle arena, went up in flames at a charging station. The culprit? A sinister short circuit lurking within the car's very charging socket. But the drama doesn't end there. Enter Tesla, the undisputed titan of electric cars. In a twist that could rival any Hollywood thriller, a Tesla Model 3 became engulfed in flames while cruising along Shingon Tunnel Road. Picture the panic as the driver sensed a sudden loss of power and witnessed smoke billowing from the rear of the vehicle. Miraculously, swift action and nerves of steel averted tragedy as the driver deftly maneuvered to safety and evacuated the car. Firefighters swooped in, battling the blaze and preventing further catastrophe. Yet amid the wreckage and the relief, questions linger like smoke in the air. How could a state-of-the-art Tesla, just two years young and recently inspected for safety, succumb to such a fiery fate? The answer remains elusive, shrouded in ongoing investigations that seek to unravel the mysteries behind these infernos. In the face of mounting peril, EV manufacturers must confront the harsh reality that their vehicles, touted as beacons of progress, carry a dangerous flaw within their very design. The road to a sustainable future may be paved with good intentions, but without urgent action, it risks being engulfed in the flames of uncertainty. As the world grapples with the fallout of these electrifying infernos, one thing is abundantly clear. The journey towards a zero-emissions future is fraught with peril, and the stakes have never been higher. From the Florida incident, probably the most infamous fire incident with an electric vehicle, happened five years ago when Omar Awan lost his life in his Tesla Model S. For unknown reasons, Awan lost control of his vehicle, so the all-electric sedan ended up hitting several trees after the collision. The Model S was engulfed in flames like a massive ball of fire, as one of the bystanders explained. The officers arrived just a few minutes later, but the efforts to extract the driver remained in vain. Apparently, the Model S's unique retractable door handles didn't work properly. They're designed to pop up when they detect a key fob nearby, but they malfunctioned. The only other way to open doors in the Model S is to do it manually from the inside. But Awan ended up in a death trap in a car full of smoke and then flames, which suffocated him and made him unable to reach the door handles. On the other side, the first responders were unable to break the windshield, so Awan lost his life due to smoke inhalation and thermal injuries. Tesla recalled these retractable door handles, but denied any liability in court. According to the official statement that was released shortly after the incident, the doors in the whole vehicle were engineered to be the safest in the world, meeting and exceeding industry standards. Moreover, the autopsy revealed that Awan had a high blood alcohol level, so Tesla pointed out speeding and not wearing a seatbelt. On the other hand, Awan's family dismissed these factors as irrelevant, insisting that he would have survived if the car had not caught fire and trapped him. Volvo C4D Fire Volvo C40 caught fire in India. As mentioned, fire incidents are happening all around the globe. This time, a modern small EV called the Volvo C40 Recharge 
was at the center of an incident that happened on the Indian Highway. A video of the incident has gone viral on the internet, so the public once again got the opportunity to raise questions about fire risks associated with electric vehicles. Luckily, the driver and his family managed to get out of the vehicle without any serious injuries before the vehicle engulfed in flames. Once again, the exact cause of the fire remains unknown, and the Swedish carmaker hasn't come up with any official statement. Incident in the Blue Ford F-150 fire No EV maker is spared when it comes to fire incidents, and the incident at Ford's plant from last year is the best example. Namely, this incident occurred last year, and what's most interesting is that it didn't take place on the road or at the public station. No, this happened at the Rouge Electric Center in Dearborn, in the plant that produces the all-electric F-150. In this incident, a brand new F-150 Lightning caught fire. It burned completely and also damaged two more pickups that were parked next to it. A video of this incident appeared on the internet and it gave us a great perspective of the fire problems associated with electric cars. It showed that although rare, EV fires are very challenging because EVs are tough to fight and usually require way more time and way more water to be extinguished. As for the officials, they came up with a statement that the cause of this fire incident was the manufacturing fault that caused a short circuit in the battery pack. So, there was no other option but to recall a certain number of F-150 Lightnings produced and stop the production for more than a month. What causes fire? EVs can catch fire for many reasons, but these incidents are usually associated with batteries because most of these units consist of lithium, which is an unstable and highly reactive chemical element. Once damaged, punctured, overcharged, or exposed to high temperatures, these batteries can easily catch fire. Also, we've been witnessing many batteries coming with manufacturing defects. No matter the cause, the problem is that this usually leads to the so-called thermal runaway reaction, a phenomenon that occurs in lithium-ion batteries where a temperature increase leads to a reaction that generates even more heat, creating a kind of self-reinforcing cycle. As the temperature rises, the electrolyte breaks down, releasing flammable gases, and leading to a rapid temperature increase that could potentially fire an explosion. But despite the numerous recorded incidents, EV fires are actually rare, probably even rarer compared to internal combustion-powered cars. The actual problem is that due to the aforementioned thermal runaway, lithium batteries are way harder to extinguish once damaged and exposed to air. Materials in the battery like cobalt oxide and lithium iron phosphate react with oxygen and sustain fire, even if external flames are removed. Because of that, dealing with EV fire requires specialized extinguishing methods and requires much more effort to be dealt with. EV owners want their EVs back. With all these fire incidents in mind, as well as other issues that come with EV ownership, it doesn't surprise that we're currently witnessing a pretty interesting twist where many EV owners plan to get back to internal combustion. According to a study from S&P Global, approximately half of those who already own an EV are considering gas or diesel-powered cars as their next vehicle. So, not only do most Americans not want to be part of the all-electric revolution, but even those who participated eventually regret it. Well, at least half of them. The study also shows that loyalty to going electric is dropping significantly. The number of drivers who are dedicated to going electric dropped from 81% in 2021 to 52.1% in 2023. EV owners can hardly justify purchasing an EV again for several reasons, starting from high prices, range anxiety, charging infrastructure, low reliability ratings, and expensive repairs. They either swap back to a gas-powered or hybrid vehicle to bridge the gap, most of them bought an SUV or pickup truck, suggesting that the vehicle type and capability play a more important role than zero emissions. In other words, many Americans were open to trying electric vehicles, but most of them haven't lined up with a change in lifestyle that comes with owning an EV. It turns out that unless an EV is used strictly in urban areas for local commuting, 
it's very hard for an average driver to justify buying an electric vehicle. Fire concerns are one of the many issues associated with EV ownership, which altogether cause a big slowdown to the EV revolution and even question its future. Thanks for watching and see you next time.